Um, this tutorial shows you how to use type and use the Pathfinder tool, how to create um, shapes using different um, shapes to cut out from each other or to merge different shapes. So the very first thing is I have some uh, two letter forms. So it's an N and a K and you see once I just um, type in there I can still modify that if I wanted to. Um, but we need to convert our type into shapes, into objects. We do that by highlighting it and go to type and down there in here at the bottom is create outlines. Once you create outlines these shapes in here will be a group file which you have to ungroup by doing this on the object, ungroup and that's the one. So you see we have single letter forms in here but occasionally we just have some shapes which are compound paths, like for example a J or a D. Compound paths means uh, there are two overlapping shapes or two combined shapes and these ones on the object ungroup can't be ungrouped um, however if you want to split them up you can make a right mouse click into that and go to release compound path. Uh, you will find both of these shapes are now separated from each other. However you can find the same thing on the object compound path and relates. Right. Now once you have these letter forms in here, I've just prepared that before, so you have an N and a K, so I'll use that and I want to use um, the K to cookie cut out of the N shape. And what cookie cutting means is, for example, if you just have this shape underneath there so you can see it's completely cut out from that. And that's better than creating only a white shape on top of a solid shape. So we have these both letter forms and the very first thing is I just have to use this counter space of the end and have to minimize that. So the easiest way of doing that, um, I'm hitting command and y for preview purposes so please remember the shortcut command and y gives you a preview of the path. Once you just click on these shapes <coughs> you don't want to break this path in its own right so you would delete only points and the easiest way of doing that is going on to this little pathfinder tool uh, on sorry on the pen tool and you have add anchor point tool you have delete anchor point tool and you have the anchor point tools these are very very important tools in illustrator we're going to use them later on as well but the first thing what we want to do is delete anchor point tools so we go to this delete anchor point tool uh, shortcut for that is the minus key on your keyboard delete these points right? and you see these ones are surplus, I don't need these points in here either. Next step, what I'm going to do in here is just grab this K this single form and to be ungrouped and these single form in here and minimize that. So just scale it down by holding down the shift key so in this case you're not skewing them so the next thing what I want to do now is just like scale it up so that it lines up with this little N in here and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now when you take a close look at press command and Y you see these both shapes overlap each other <clears throat> but if I would simply just colorize that with white uh, what would happen is that um, my little background like the red background in here would be spared out and I want to really use this K to cut it out of the end. So let's do this. Um, take the K, overlap that by a tiny, tiny little margin down there in the bottom. Right. So when I go to my preview, you see how it slightly overlaps. Then go to Window, go to Pathfinder. Right. And with this Pathfinder, we have two different shapes in here which we are going to use today. One is the unite and the other one is the minus front. Minus front is another tool which I call the path, uh, cookie cutter because it just does the same. It works like a cookie cutter. Have the one shape on top of each other. Like this K is going to is going to be used like a cookie cutter. So you have to have it on top of the other one. Highlight both of them by making this rubber band selection and then go to the minus front so you will see now when I have the preview you'll see this one is one shape now I just cut it out so when I just go back and grab my I'll just create quickly a red background so you 
and see how it also cut that one out. Do it in the back. And that's it. And that's how you use the Pathfinder tool to clear cut. Now the same thing is in there. Occasionally you want to merge some shapes in here. I have two K's in there which I want to work um, to merge, and um, we're using the Pathfinder tool for that as well. So before we've used the minus front, and this time we're using the unite tool. Uh, so I have two letter forms in here, and I want to delete this one in here as well. So to get a closer look, I just hit the key, uh, the minus key on my keyboard, so it gives me the delete anchor point tool. And I'm just deleting all of these points, which I'm not going to use. Right, so I will leave that some of them. So I'm going to that. And that's about, that's about okay. So now what I'm going to do is that one, well, I just have to unroot this first and move this little object a little bit further in. So what I'm trying to do is just to have this gap and this gap roughly the same. All you can see in here is that this one does not merge it with the other one in here. So I can highlight with my white arrow, with the direct selection tool, I can highlight only a certain selection of tools. So I just go around there and select only these little corners in here. So I'm going to just move them sideways so you can see how they really, 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 really move into that. So when I just go now to my preview, first command wipe. And you will see how these both shapes overlap. I keep it non preview for demonstration purposes. Highlight both of them again, and then here you would go to Unite. Right, it's not the minus front one, it's the Unite one, the press button. Once you just click on that, so you see this shape now has been united. And what you want to do now in there is just cleaning these things up a little bit. So you see, this one is just way, way, way too sharp, these little corners. And that's where you can use your. Um, Add anchor point tool. So you just go on to your pin tool, go to add anchor point tool, and you create one in here. And as long as we just keep that, and I'll just create one in here and one in here. Now I'll just do the next one and go to delete anchor point tool just in order to make this one a little bit rounder. Once I just delete that, I can just clean it up a little bit. And that's about it. So one thing is now what you can do in there as well if you don't like as this one is shaped naturally by Illustrator, you can go to your anchor point tool, which is underneath there as well, right there, one in the bottom, and click one of these buttons in here, hold on your shift key, and you see how these ones actually just move around, so you can just clean it up a little bit, and make that as long as you wanted it to be. Right. And that's it. One. There we go. That's it.